Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2418 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow as few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we're diving into the awe-inspiring book of Psalm, chapter 8, verses 1-9 through 9, from the New Living Translation. This psalm, penned by David, is a beautiful praise hymn reflecting God's majesty and the unique place of humanity within His creation. Let's explore and uncover the profound truths within these verses. Psalm chapter 8, verses 1-9 through 9. O Lord, our Lord, Your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught the children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon, and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority. The flocks, the herds, and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims in the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. David begins and ends this psalm with the same powerful declaration. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. This repetition frames the entire psalm, emphasizing the overarching theme of God's majesty and glory. David recognizes that God's name, His very essence, is evident throughout all creation. This opening line calls for us to recognize and celebrate God's presence and authority over the entire world. David continues with verse 1, Your glory is higher than the heavens. Here he acknowledges that God's glory surpasses even the vast expanses of heaven. With breathtaking beauty and grandeur, the heavens often symbolize the greatest and most significant things that we can imagine. Yet God's glory is even greater. This verse invites us to look beyond the physical beauty of the world and see His divine hand behind it all. In verse 2, David writes, You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all those who oppose you. This verse highlights a surprising source of strength, the praise of children and infants. It is a reminder that God often uses the seemingly weak and insignificant to demonstrate His power and to silence His enemies. The innocence and purity of a child's praise have a unique power. It is a profound truth that God's strength is made perfect in weakness, as echoed in the New Testament. This verse encourages us to embrace a childlike faith and to trust in God's strength, knowing that even the simplest expression of praise can have a powerful impact. Verses 3 and 4 bring us to a moment of awe and wonder. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, What are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? David reflects on the vastness of the universe, the moon, and the stars that God has meticulously arranged. This contemplation leads to a humbling question about the significance of humanity in the grand scheme of creation. The night sky has a way of making us feel small, yet David marvels at the fact that the creator of such vastness is mindful of us. The realization is both humbling and comforting. It speaks of an incredible value God places on each person, despite the enormity of the universe. It invites us to ponder our place in the creation of God's profound care for each of us. David continues with verses 5 and 6. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority. Here David acknowledges the unique position humanity holds in creation. Although we are mere mortals, God has bestowed upon us honor and glory, making us only a little lower than Himself. This passage echoes the creation account in Genesis, where humanity is given dominion over the earth. It speaks of our responsibility to steward and care for God's creation. Being made in God's image, we are entrusted with His authority to manage the earth, reflecting His character and how we interact with the world around us. These verses challenge us to consider how we are fulfilling this role. Are we acting as responsible stewards, honoring the glory and honor God has given us? They remind us of the privilege and responsibility that comes with our unique place in creation. In verses 7 and 8, it lists the aspects of creation under human authority. The flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims in the ocean currents. 
This comprehensive list emphasizes the extents of humanity's dominion. Everything is under human stewardship, from domestic animals to the wild creatures, from the skies to the sea. Their dominion is not about exploitation, but about responsible management and care. It calls us to reflect on how we interact with our environment and the creatures within it. Are we exercising our authority with wisdom and compassion or neglecting our responsibility? These verses challenge us to be mindful of our impact on creation and to act in ways that honor God's trust in us. And finally, David returns to his opening declaration in verse 9. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. This bookend emphasizes the central theme of the psalm, the majesty and glory of God. It serves as a powerful reminder that despite of our significant role in creation, God's name and glory ultimately fill the earth. This repetition reinforces the idea in our lives. Stewardship and praise should all point back to the majesty of God. It calls us to live in a way to reflect His glory and honor His name. As we conclude this psalm, we are invited to join David in praising the Lord for His incredible creation his thoughtful care for humanity, and the honor and responsibility his has entrusted in us. As we reflect on Psalm chapter 8, verses 1 through 9, several key lessons emerge that we can apply to our own lives. First is, recognize God's majesty. Acknowledge and celebrate the majesty and glory of God, which is evident throughout all creation. Let his name fill the earth through our praise and actions. Second, embrace childlike faith. Understand the power of childlike faith and praise. Trust in God's strength, knowing that even the simplest expressions of faith can silence the enemies and demonstrate His power. Third, ponder our place in creation. Reflect on the vastness of the universe and the incredible care that God has given to each of us. Let His humbling realization deepen our sense of gratitude and wonder. Fourth, fulfill our role as stewards. Recognize the honor and responsibility God has given to each of us to steward His creation. Act as responsible managers reflecting His care in our interactions with the environment and creations. And fifth, live to honor God. Ensure that our lives, actions, and stewardship all point back to the majesty of God. Let everything we do honor His name and reflect His glory. Applying these lessons to our daily lives can deepen our relationship with God and transform our interactions with the world. Recognizing God's majesty encourages us to live in awe and reverence. Embracing childlike faith empowers us to trust in God's strength and praise Him wholeheartedly. Pondering our place in creation fosters gratitude and humility. Fulfilling our role as stewards reminds us of our responsibility to care for the environment and its creatures. Living to honor God ensures that our lives reflect His glory and majesty. As we conclude our exploration of Psalm chapter 8, verses 1-9, through 9, let's carry these lessons with us on our journey. Embrace the majesty of God, trust in His strength, reflect our place in creation, fulfill our roles as stewards, and live to honor His name. By doing so, we align ourselves with the psalm's timeless wisdom and navigate life's complexities with faith and assurance. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Wisdom Trek. May these insights of Psalm chapter 8 inspire and strengthen you to continue your trek through life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom. Cherish each moment and continue to positively impact the world around you. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.